Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I've been telling you stories to help you build your story bank. Today's story is about fighting yellow fever. This is the late 1900s and a doctor called Carlos Juan Finlay was posted in Cuba and he had been practicing there for over two decades. One of the biggest diseases that he had to fight in that area was yellow fever. Now, the popular belief was that yellow fever was transmitted through the bad air around or through physical contact. But Carlos Finlay had observed some three unexplained coincidences that made him believe otherwise. And all of them had to do with mosquitoes. He had seen that wherever there was a particular type of mosquito called the Culex mosquito, there was yellow fever. And the reverse was also true, which is no Culex mosquito, no yellow fever. Two it was that wherever the temperature would drop, so in winter, the Culex mosquito would disappear and the yellow fever would disappear as well. And with the advent of summer, with the temperatures rising, the Culex mosquito returned and so did yellow fever. The third was that the Culex mosquito couldn't survive in high altitudes. So people who lived in high altitudes did not get yellow fever. With these three things, he came to the conclusion that yellow fever was transmitted by mosquitoes. So in 1881, he proposed his theory about Culex mosquitoes transmitting yellow fever. The medical community thought he was mad. They called him crazy and cranky and said, and in fact, they used to call him the mosquito man is here. Then he did an experiment which actually demolished his own hypothesis. What he did was he got some volunteers to get bitten by Culex mosquitoes and none of them fell ill. So the medical community said there, your own theory has been demolished. Now, 20 years later, two decades later, the US Army sent a doctor or army surgeon called Walter Reed to Cuba to study yellow fever. And while he was studying yellow fever, Walter Reed heard about an incident from the southern part of the United States in Mississippi. There was a doctor called Henry Carter Rose, who was a doctor at the port of Mississippi, and he observed what he thought was something like an incubation period for yellow fever. He saw that when a shipload of people came to the Mississippi port and if there were some people who had yellow fever, uh, no one contracted yellow fever other than those who already had yellow fever for the first two weeks. And then two weeks later, some other people would contract yellow fever. So he thought there was some kind of a two to three week incubation period. He started observing and visiting all the families where people with yellow fever had come from the ships. And what he observed was that Anyone who visited those families in the first two weeks did not have any chance of catching yellow fever. But people who visited two to three weeks after had a high risk of catching yellow fever even when the original victim was dead. So clearly bad air from the victim or contact with the victim couldn't have caused it. He now believed that it was the mosquito that must, must have bitten those who had initially come with yellow fever and had a two week incubation period and then transferred the disease. Coincidentally, Henry Carter Rose was then posted to Havana, Cuba as the quarantine officer. That's where he met Walter Reed. And he convinced Walter Reed that there was a convincing theory behind this incubation period and mosquitoes about yellow fever. And Walter Reed bought that. Despite a lot of uh, pressure from his superiors, he continued to experiment with that theory. While Reed was on a holiday to the United States, two of his subordinates, James Carroll and Jesse Lazier, decided to do an experiment, of course with Reed's permission. They decided to get the mosquito or a set of mosquitoes to bite a yellow fever victim and then kept the mosquitoes aside for two weeks. After 12 days, they allowed them to bite themselves. And this time the experiment, which was actually the same experiment as Finlay did, just that there was an additional incubation period. And this time, the experiment was successful. In fact, fatally so. Jesse Lazier died of yellow fever. James Carroll also contracted yellow fever, but luckily, he survived to tell the tale. So when Walter Reed came back from his leave, James Carroll explained what had happened, and that got both of them to start now investigating in controlled experiments about yellow fever and the Culex mosquito, and they proved the theory. And to prove the theory, Walter Reed did not need to just prove that yellow fever was transmitted. He had to actually disprove an old data. What a wonderful story. 
where can you use the story? You can use the story to show that sometimes you need to do repeated and different experiments to prove a hypothesis you have. You can also use the story when someone comes at you with one of my biggest bugbears when I was working, which is we have tried this before, it doesn't work. Maybe it didn't work because they didn't try it the right way, like Juan Carlos Finlay did not put in the incubation period. I hope you liked that story. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more such stories and watch all the previous ones. We also have a Telegram group where you can join and be able to download these videos so that you can share them with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Hmm.